Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing Paper Theater by N. Sky. This one is a Spirit of Weight series again, and this one is PTL04 uh, labeled After the Feast. And this is another moment where it's actually depicting a specific moment in the movie. And this is where uh, Chihiro or Sen is uh, confronting No Face after he's infiltrated the uh, Yubaba's bathhouse and has been giving fake gold to all the staff there and she kind of confronts him and you know he kind of goes wild but this is a scene where he's trying to offer her food and gold trying to like make her like him and trying to have her be his friend so this is a really great moment where you see uh, Sen kind of solidify herself and she kind of grows up uh, one step further so the interesting thing about this one is that the very last layer is this kind of gold layer metallic with a print on it and it actually is really cool how they did this because it almost reminds me of well, like those uh, silver screen uh, films from a long time ago. It kind of has that almost uh, movie like uh, feel to it. Uh, when you're like watching a movie with a little in the theaters you know with some grains um and it, it's actually really nice um it doesn't look that great when you just see it by the layer itself but when you look at the last layer that you'll see eventually in this video um it's really great um because it it adds such a great dynamic to this because the other ones were very solid flat colors but with this kind of printed image it, it really enhances the scene uh, for this model. So this model itself, the Elf 4 series, is actually a larger model set. So a typical End Sky Paper Theater is about uh, 8 centimeters by 10 centimeters, and this one is actually double that size by it being 10 centimeters by 16 centimeters. So it's like having two uh, portrait size End Sky models of the normal put it uh, be placed side to side, and that's how big this model is. So this one is a little more expensive than the other series, but um, as you can see, it's a bit larger, it has more detail to it. So I, you know, you're not really spending too much money in that sense because it's like buying two, but it's actually cheaper than buying two of these models. I felt a little bit like Bob Ross here, you know, having beautiful strokes, but instead of paint, it's actually a uh, glue. Um, this was just so that I can get it evenly spread out so that there's no gaps because sometimes if there's a little gap or an area that's not glued later eventually uh, the paper starts peeling off slowly so I just wanted to make sure I had a very very thin uh, layer that's throughout the area that I need to glue on for this piece here which I measured ahead of time to see the extent of the glue so that I don't over glue certain areas that I don't need to and just make sure that it becomes very clean. So the first three layers of this model is actually all of food and trash that's been uh, created by No Face as he starts picking out and his body starts uh, growing very large because uh, he keeps eating and demanding more stuff and you know throwing gold at all the staff there so that you know they'll bring him more stuff and treat him like a royalty and part of it might be you know uh, a message of how. You know he's always been shunned kind of and he had no friends and he's kind of seen as like an unwanted visitor and so he finds that they are willing to you know treat him like royalty if he keeps throwing money at them and he thinks that because you know it's working with all the other staff and he's getting uh, recognition by these people in a sense and you know they want to keep pleasing him he thought that it would work with uh, Chihiro as well by you know offering her food uh, gold and all the stuff just so that she will like him and it actually doesn't work you know and he actually starts going on a rage until uh, she gives him a medicine like rice ball or I don't know what it actually is but it's a type of food that was given by uh, one of the gods that she helped out and you know um, it made him start throwing up and then he started spitting out all the people that he's eaten and then the food and then he kind of grows back to normal and once he's done that he's kind of gone back to the normal sanity level and he becomes very quiet again and kind of a nice character all over and it kind of is I guess you can almost say it's an allegory to greed you know the more you stuff yourself and the more greedy you get and then you just start reacting a certain way 
and you know and by able to uh by being able to clean yourself from all this it kind of makes you uh who you were again this is the fourth layer where it's now actually the characters uh sen and uh, no face which is interesting because I feel like this is maybe not too much of the focus as maybe as much as the mess because they devoted three layers to just showing the trash and the mess uh, created by No Face, which is great to add a very uh, great depth of layer within this one visual uh, representation. And it's interesting that they put both characters on one layer because a lot of the other paper theaters, they're on separate layers and usually you get your main character usually by the second or third layer and everything is about the background. So you have other additional layers like trees, um, you know, maybe a mountain or like a sky in the background. That actually is uh, more of a layer that kind of helps you focus onto the characters in the front. But in this case, the focus seems to be more on the mess itself, kind of like out, out of frame. And then you have the main characters in the back. Um, so I thought it was kind of an interesting uh, take on this model because uh, it's kind of unique in that sense. And I actually really enjoy having the uh, front entourage elements instead of the back. Another unique thing about this uh, model is that Sen and some of the other pieces you actually pre-assemble separately and then you glue that part onto the main frame which is very atypical because the other models you, you would actually just start layering on the frame layer and just add in your elements one by one but in this case like Sen for example is very intricate but they actually wanted you to kind of glue it all together separately and then just glue her as one piece because it's actually easier to uh, put together that way and I have to say I really think Studio Ghibli especially uh, Hayao Miyazaki um, he's such a great uh, artist and the way he depicts these uh, monsters you know like no face when he's kind of gotten big it's so grotesque in a way but it's not too distracting but it, I, I just think it's so unique his um, animation and his art style that you know you can always recognize his drawings or his movies right away because of the style that he uses but you know he's really great at uh, drawing food you know like all of his food look amazing in movies and then his monsters you know especially when they start bubbling or they start you know morphing it's in this grotesque kind of way that I, I just think is truly uh, amazing. As you can see here, there are six layers of which five are dedicated to the mess and only one single layer for both characters. And it's interesting because I almost feel like it's representative that they're on the same level in the sense of it's on the same plane. Uh, they're not put in front or behind each other. You know, they're on the same um, coexistence in a sense where they kind of understand each other too. Um, oh, I, I, it's just my take on it. You know, I don't think that's what the intent was. I, it's just like, I feel that that's kind of what I get from this model while I was building it. This was actually my favorite Spirited Away themed paper theater that I've built so far. I mean, I keep saying that every time I build a new one and it's true just cause I just love the level of details that each model brings. And this one was truly uh, unique. And now time for the big reveal, which I love doing. This is the final model um, of the After the Feast uh, theme. And as you can see, it's such a great level of detail um, with everything that you see here. Thank you for watching. And you know, if you like this video, please check out my other videos of other builds that I've done, not just paper models, but metal models and other things.